Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add the Spotify one in for this video. Um, so first things first, my name's Gar, go by Garforce Online, Garforce 2, you can find me pretty much anywhere. Um, just get that out of the way right off the bat. Welcome to this video. What we're doing here is we're gonna teach you how to add a little pizzazz to your stream. So in the bottom corner here, I have um, indicators for what song's playing. So I have the text, uh, album art, everything ready to go for both Pandora, which is a little thick, so I might have to adjust that off, off this video, and iTunes. I have it currently set up for both because I use Pandora while streaming sometimes. Other times I use um, iTunes because I do have access to a friend who makes all the music ridiculously loud apparently. <laughs> I forgot to edit the volume down on that. I apologize. So he makes music. He allows me to use it on stream. So that's why I use that. Then of course there's Spotify because there are some people that like Spotify. So that is what I'm doing for you guys today. So as you can see, we have this down here in this bottom corner. We're going to get rid of that right now. We're going to switch to our right hand screen. This is how I have everything set up right now. So we've got Spotify right here. We've got this folder right here because I use a gradient below it. So that gives um, this fun little effect down here. That's what this gigantic square is. So it's a small subtle effect down there, but simple to make ish so I have it listed as music that's what it's listed here for me what you're gonna do to do it uh, to get it to look like what it is right here is go to your filters add a chroma key or color key color key works as well I think color key might work better in some instances for me chroma key worked right here so you can also reduce this reduce or increase the smoothness depending on how um, absurd you want the transition to be i prefer it a little like right here so first off you put in uh your color that you want to get rid of like here i have white and this nice cyan blue Cyan blue is the color of everything in my room, in my stream setup. Sorry, you don't get a camera because it's currently being used by OBS because that was opened first. And I can't record while do you know, a separate screen while doing this. The downside. That's why Streamlabs is over here. I've never used it before. Anyway, so you add this gradient file in you get it keyed out properly to where you want it your opacity you can change it to being more solid more transparent however you want it get your contrast brightness right so that the color looks good for you there finally it went away so this is what it looks like underneath there for me so i chose to keep it like right about here Then next, you're going to rotate it if you have to. You're going to rotate it. Now, me, I had to rotate it because I'm not going to have a gigantic 45-degree angle cutting through here. To do that, you would right-click, go to Transform, Edit Transform. And then this Rotation Degrees, you're going to figure out how many degrees you need to rotate it by. I suggest going by 10-degree increments and then figuring out where your nice middle ground is. Easy simple so far we've got easy stuff 
Now, the next step is a bit, um, how you say, more complicated, if you will. So you're going to do a window capture here. We're going to call this Spotify. Totally forgot what the program was called for a second. I apologize for that. So I'm going to call it Spotify 1 because I'm making two instances each time. For my case, because my case, I am putting it off to the right hand side with Spotify. You can just do one and put it off to the left. That works fine. Now, I put it off to the left when I'm on my game scene, so I might be just fine there. But here we are. We got uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the wrong thing here. We want Spotify. So whatever your Spotify file is or video file, window file is, and we're going to hit OK. Now to crop it down properly, we're going to hit Alt or left Alt and then drag this down and drag this over. And we're going to enlarge it. So we want to get just right in on it. just enough space there's that now like I said I'm doing two so I'm gonna bring this back over to here we're just gonna get the album art I hate ads that's one downside to having Spotify free I'm not paying for premium because I don't use it often enough so we're gonna put it in the bottom corner we're gonna shrink it down that's all we're gonna do with that instance now we're going to right click, copy, right click, duplicate. Now I'm going to rename this Spotify 2. I'm going to put it below this because I don't know why. It doesn't really matter. They're both on the same layer. All you want to do is make sure it's above music and above whatever background you're playing is. You can put it within your border. Now I have mine against the border because I don't think I have it to where... Oh yeah, I do. So I can make starting soon above the music so that the edges of that are good and we're just gonna move this up this way all right now we're gonna take this we're gonna come out this way and move this back more into the corner I like to have it in the corner but we're gonna take this we're gonna make it big again we're gonna take our left alt on clip this Clip that in. Just gonna clip just to the inside of the heart. And then what we're doing here is we're gonna add a filter. The filter we're going to add is a color key. Color key works best in this instance because of the ability you have for the custom color, which you have in both. Select color, pick screen color. So we're gonna pick that color right there and boom we can adjust the similarity to cut off any excess that we don't want on there so we're just gonna go right about to there I think and then we're going to cut the contrast down cut the brightness down and cut the gamut down or up? A gamma. Jesus, Ramsey. Making a video right now. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna decrease the smoothness. Increase? No, yeah. Decrease the smoothness. Get ourselves as much as we can. Close that. We're gonna add another filter called sharpen. We're going to sharpen it all the way we can. 
and it's a transparent overlay now. And if that works for you, cool beans. You do the same thing if you were just you. Oh, shut up! With the ads, you would do the same thing, except you can just use one of the overlays, one overlay, if you got it on this side. Easy peasy. I hope this video helps, and pop by the stream if you want to see some rad drifting. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.